Chapter 10, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah discusses the law where one person suffered a loss as he was saving the property of another. Two people were walking, this one carrying his barrel of wine and this one carrying his jug of honey, and the barrel of honey cracked and the honey began to leak out. Now just a note here, it says the Tana uses the word barrel, chavit, and jug kad interchangeably. That's why it says jug of honey and then barrel. Okay, two people walking, this one carrying his barrel of wine and this one carrying his jug of honey and the barrel of honey cracked and the honey began to leak out. The one who was carrying wine poured out his wine from its barrel and saved the honey in it, i.e. he poured the honey into the empty wine barrel. He now demands that the owner of the honey pay him for the wine that he lost. The law is that the owner of the wine receives only his fee, i.e. the fee for his labor and for the use of his barrel, but he is not paid for his lost wine. But if before he poured out the wine, he said to the owner of the honey, I will save your honey, but you must give me the value of my wine. And the owner of the honey agreed. The owner of the honey is obligated to give him the value of the wine. A similar case. A river overflowed and swept away someone's donkey and the donkey of another person. His donkey was worth a mane, 100 sous, and the other's was worth 200 sous. So he left his donkey to drown and saved the other person's donkey. He then demands that the owner of the more expensive donkey pay him the value of his lost donkey. The law is that he receives only his fee, i.e. the amount it would have cost to hire a person to rescue the donkey from the river. But he is not paid for the loss of his donkey. But if, before he abandoned his donkey, he said to the owner of the other donkey, I will save your donkey, but you must give me the value of my donkey, and the other agreed, the owner of the saved donkey is obligated to give him the value of his lost donkey.